Hey guys, what's up? Mike Herd 360. Um, now that Tacticam has come out with three models of cameras, I felt like I needed to go ahead and talk about the security box options once again. Sorry about my messy bench. I'm pausing here during some some uh, shipping times. Got a lot of orders to get out, and I just. Uh, came across one of these orders and I said, you know what, I need to talk about this real quick. So it's going to be a, you know, not a super long video and of course nothing uh, fancy, just a cell phone. Uh, but here, here we have, so this is an SK, all right, and I don't have everything mounted on it. I was taking it apart to show you. And there's a little solar panel that fits on there. And guys, that's a small solar panel. It's a trickle charge. Um, if you're if you got your camera down in a river bottom creek bottom hardwood bottom uh basically tree covered not getting any full direct sun that thing ain't gonna do the job okay i mean it, it is what it is you can only do so much with something that size uh, you know <laughs> i hear a lot of guys talk about the latest technology and solar panels and everything i try to do my best to keep up on all that and uh i can promise you if we had solar panels that worked in the shade or ambient light efficiently and did a good job, our world problems of solar energy or providing energy with the sun would be solved. So solar farms are out in the open and no trees for a reason. They, those solar panels track the sun's movement for a reason and uh, it needs direct sunlight. Um, you know. It, It'll be fine if you're getting a few pictures a day, maybe, uh, and you're getting some sunlight on it. But, uh, you know, filtered through trees, leaves, branches, that kind of thing, that, that really cuts way back on the performance of any solar panel. I don't care what kind it is, what design, whether it's polycrystalline, monocrystalline, or amorphous, I, it, it doesn't matter. Okay? Don't believe all the advertisements you hear about solar panels. All right. So... You heard the truth here at Herd 360. Now, this thing's removable. There's two there's two uh, security boxes available. You have the one that Tacticam released for their cameras was well thought out because a lot of the guys have complained about it being multiple pieces, but that was done on purpose. Okay, they had some foresight. They knew what they were going to be coming out with. Uh, and then you have ca the uh, Camlock box. They are the original inventors of this clamshell type uh, security box, and they're made in the good old U.S. of A. Good people, good little company out there. Um, but their box will not fit the SK if you have if you're trying to use the cool mount that Tacticam includes with the SK. That's a really neat little mount, well thought out, good design clips right on the back um sweet nice little thing but if you're going to use the cam lock box because you like the uh ruggedness of the cam lock box and how you can use their uh, hard their uh, heavy duty swivel mount or you can bolt it to a tree or strap it to a tree if you like all those features from the cam lock box you're not going to be able to use this mount and you're not going to be able to use this solar panel mounted right to the top of the camera okay so don't get upset about that it's just it is the way it is uh, if that bothers you get over it but does it fit it fits really nice okay stick that in there like that here's how i recommend using these okay put you a padlock in the front or if you have enough room with your python cable run your python cable through the back around your tree back through here and then lock it together but you know you can use a padlock on the front too what does that do if you lock that down and you've got the python cable in the back the python cable goes through the the actual lid the two-piece uh, little flange or whatever that comes down through here so it locks it in there and then having that there keeps people from being able to pry it and pry the the lid out and try to pry it open okay uh, it's just an added security, but it does make a difference. I've seen guys just use the Python cable in the back. And then they tell me that the people were able to pry, uh, pry this down and pry the bottom down and get at the camera. 
But if you put a padlock in there, they can't do that. And that's why that was put in there. So you see it's a nice fit. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, uh, cam lock boxes. And it's pretty heavy, okay? I don't know what the weight is with everything. but <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. But they've got a, a nice heavy-duty swivel bracket. Bolts to the back, and you can attach that to a tree, and you can move it all all around. And it's designed to handle the weight of this thing. This sucker is heavy. Let's see if I can weigh it here real quick. I'm not gonna film that, but three point three one pounds. All right. So, what do you do if you're using a cam lock box and you've got this? Well, they did include an extension cable. So. One problem that I do see with this box is the hole is not perfectly in the right spot. So that's something that Camelot box is going to have to work on. Um, <laughs> so I didn't even realize that myself until just now. Wow. I don't know how they missed that, but they did. Anyway, so if you're handy with a trill or a pair of 10 snips or whatever, oblong your hole until until camlock um changes that design and, it, and it's able to fit in there and fit that uh that hole so let's say you modified it and you've got this hole cut out what are you going to do take this take your little strap strap this to the back side of the tree wherever your sun is preferably facing south run your cable connect it to this run it down and Run it into the bottom. All right, so now on to the next one. The Technicam security box, okay? Bear safe box, however you want to call it. All right, this fits a little differently. All right, slide it down there like that. And then, quite honestly, you could probably use, of course, you can use a screw in the tree bracket here, and you could use a uh, camlock box. It's got a really nice metal one that you can lock it to the tree. Uh, however, you could use their heavy duty swivel bracket and run it through here. And if you're handy, of course, you got to be handy. You got to be able to use a wrench, a pair of pliers, a socket, something, guys. Um, for, you know, if, if, if you can, if you don't have tools and I don't know, maybe you should stay out of the woods, but you could probably put it there and it, that, that heavy duty bracket is heavy duty enough to where once you tighten the, the nut and washer down and get it locked in there, you could position this anywhere you wanted, tighten down that swivel and you'd be good to go. All right. So the other part of this bracket is <clears throat> is this feature here actually i think you've got to put this on just yep and then it locks in there and why do you have a three-piece design well guys that's because this camera's got something that mounts on the top so if you just got your Reveal XB or your Reveal X, uh, I don't know if I mentioned that, but it will fit all three. Both uh, both boxes will fit all three cameras. So you would put, just put that on top, and that protects your top of your camera. And uh, you see everything. They've got a hole cut out. You can open that up, put your extension cable that comes with the SK in there, run your, your uh, solar panel around the back of the tree, or... You can put that on there. And guys, I, I've had guys talking about how they couldn't even figure out. I've seen them on, uh, on the forums. They couldn't figure out how to put the thing together. Man, I, I'm just gonna, not going to comment on that at all. Because <laughs> this is my first time ever messing with one. I, I'm not having any problems with it, guys. Um, it's good pretty elementary all right so uh, let's turn this around all right a little solar panel goes on here like this uh, 
And then, of course, it plugs in the bottom. In case you don't know. Again, there's an extension cable that's added in the packaging so that you can run that little solar panel around somewhere else. All right, make sure it's in there good. All right. Now we're going to work that in there. Probably got to turn it a different way to get it. Get it just right. Now this does make it a little bit more difficult with this SK. You've got to get it. Here's what we're going to do. I ain't going to fight this thing. I'm going to run that cable just like that. All right. I unplug the cable. We'll see if this works. Just see how smart I really am, huh? You got the little plug in the way. All right. Got it. Now, it was a little bit of work. I'll have to admit. All right. So, what I did was I unplugged the cable to make it easier to get it in there. And then, boom, there we go. We got that. Now, of course, we leave this off because it's got the solar panel on the front or on the top. Now, boom, it goes together like that. You got your solar panel sticking out. That's a pretty nice little box, guys. I don't know why I see some guys complaining about them. And then you can use that, uh, run a strap through there. Um, you could even, you could, if you're good at it, you could probably run a strap through there and then through these and then back out i don't know if that would work or not you can use a regular uh screw in the tree bracket again we talked about that heavy duty bracket from camlock box um you can run your python cable through there through there or if you wanted to access a camera yes you are going to have to take all that stuff off first all right now <coughs> tacticam thought it through pretty good and uh, with their bracket or their their security box, you can use their cool tree bracket. I love this little bracket. I mean, it's plastic. Yeah, it could break, but I mean, come on, guys. The rest of the camera's plastic too. That's a nice little mount. I like how that works. So there you go. Tacticam security box. SK, you can use the solar panel on top. You can use the bracket. Cam lock box. It will fit the SK and the XB and the X. Um, the hole is not in the right place. It needs to be oblonged a little bit. Um, I'm sure, you know, once cam lock box figures that out, they'll probably straighten that right on out. And uh, future models will have that. But uh, if you're not going to run external power, it doesn't even matter. Um, on the X... The hole on that battery tray must be in a slightly different spot. I didn't look, but on the X, uh, I'm pretty sure that hole's lined up. So look for the future models to have that changed a little bit. Um, all right, I don't know. I hope that answers some questions, guys. Mike, Herd360, y'all have a good day. Sorry it was a long, uh, long video, and subscribe to the channel. And... Uh, as the channel grows, that helps me, and uh, no, I'm not making money getting rich off the thing, but it just, it, it helps me get found on, on YouTube when guys are looking for these things, so y'all have a good day, uh, again, good luck this season, and I'm gonna get back to shipping orders out the door.